Welcome back to 80s Comics for the review of Conan the Barbarian, issue number 36. Taking it way back to 1973 with this one. I love the cover design, and this is a terrific issue of Conan the Barbarian that features superfly plumbing and living statues that attack people. How many times in Conan's career did he face off against living statues? You figure every time he sees a statue, it's going to come alive and attack somebody, which is not a bad thing. Here's the creative team. John Buscema does the artwork once again. Roy Thomas writing it. And I love the art and the writing style from this era of Conan the Barbarian. The mid-70s era of Conan, for the most part, captured the brutality and savagery of the original Robert E. Howard Conan stories. And Buscema's artwork just captures it perfectly. Just nails it. I think he might be my favorite Conan artist. Anyway, Conan shows up after uh, whatever he was doing in issue 35 to give a report to the, to the king or whatever, that guy. He's got a pretty bad sunburn there. Remember that. It's somewhat inconsistent in this issue. <laughs> Conan, Conan's having some skin problems. So he's immediately tossed into a harem. Really, it can't be a Conan book from this era without at least one harem. And uh, then... This lady shows up. Now, she must have clogged the toilet because Conan is there to lay some pipe. <laughs> that's, that's just terrible, but also applicable. Oh, speaking of terrible, as a general rule, I'm not a huge fan of music from the early 70s, unless it's Led Zeppelin. So we have an entire spread of eight tracks, by the way, just in case you're like, what are those things? Eight track cassettes. Yes. Oh, they're awful, but they're so good at the same time. Curtis Mayfield, my man, Superfly soundtrack. That's a great movie. There's so many good one-liners from that film. Like, I don't even know where to start. Like, the whole road line is really good. Eight-track player, color TV in every room. Conan the Barbarians live in the American dream. So after it would appear that Conan replaces the entire septic system in the palace, he, uh... Changes skin color. It's like he's Zartan in this issue. Practices archery. He's being made fun of by these guards. He smashes their heads together. Classic Conan. And dig those boots. Busema drew great boots. I assume that was at the top of his resume. Really good at drawing boots. So, here's the plot. I guess uh, their armies are raiding some other, ci some other civilization somewhere. You know, terror. That's what they do. Brought back the statue, but it's headless. Someone's going to bring back the head, and they're going to use some super glue and affix the head to this thing. Nothing bad could happen when you put the head on the statue that you've just plundered from some ancient civilization. Conan is practicing bow and arrow, stabbing things, smashing them with axes. More plumbing. Lots of ads. It's a fun issue. What's great about these issues from, from the 70s is that you got a lot of panels and a lot of writing. Far more than you get today. They put the head on the statue and what do you know, it comes to life and starts killing people. Because that's what statues do. Frankly, statues are boring unless they come to life and start killing people. Then they just stand there and collect dust. But this statue almost kills Conan, but he's clever enough to see this magician, or whatever this guy is, in the corner, controlling it, which is like the exact same thing that happened in Conan 16, or one of those early issues. <laughs> He's like, I know this trick. So he stabs that guy. So, does Conan save the day? Of course he does, but he really should have that sunburn looked at. That's gotta be painful. She should just run up to him, give him the red rooster, <laughs> right in the back. That's how you get rid of Conan. Give him the red rooster. This is a really fun Conan. You can find this for a couple bucks. Also, I read this as Dracula and Airwolf by Night. Which would be the greatest episode of Airwolf ever. How about that kiss? Conan should really have that skin looked at, though. I'm just concerned. I'm really concerned for his safety. Though he does last for several hundred more issues, so. I, and the entire King Conan series. So I guess he's all right in the end. You know, Conan the Barbarian, issue 36, a lot of fun. Classic 70s Conan. And if you like 
the original Robert E. Howard stories. I think you'll dig this. It's got that style more so than the 80s and 90s Conans. And it's also very well drawn. Great boots. You can't go wrong with the boots in this issue. Conan 36, highly recommended by 80s Comics. So for those of you only used to downloadable music or getting your music from YouTube or something, back in the day, we had all of these options. 12-inch stereo records, 8-track cartridges, tape cassettes, and reel-to-reel -reel tapes. So that you could listen to all of this. This is seriously my worst nightmare. The best of mountain. Ugh. Humble pie. <laughs> Forgot about humble pie. There no, there's no Zeppelin in here. More Curtis, okay, Curtis Mayfield's good. Ah, Live and Let Die. Before Guns N' Roses made it even better. 